Hello, 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 it's Air Bear here to predict another game. Today I'm going to be predicting the New Era Pinstripe Bowl. Game in Yankee Stadium out in cold New York City. It's going to be between the Rutgers Scarlet Knights and the Notre Dame Fighting Irish from my relative home area of Indiana. Uh, this is going to be an interesting game with two teams who kind of had lackluster seasons, but it's going to be fun to watch. Let's start by talking about Rutgers. They played this year in the American Conference. Um, they had they had some struggles this year. They they were looking to have a good year. They thought they were lined up good. They had Gary Nova returning at quarterback. And they thought he was going to be good, but they started the year off with a 52-51 overtime loss at Fresno State. And I don't know. They, they were really hit and miss. They followed that up with four straight wins over subpar teams. Although they did beat Arkansas at home 20-24. And they had a 55-52 OT thriller at SMU in there. They followed that up with a 24-10 loss at Louisville, which actually wasn't a bad game. Uh, they got destroyed 49-14 by Houston. They beat Temple, who was terrible this year, but then followed that up with three straight losses to Cincinnati, UCF, and Connecticut. So they were actually 5-6, and six, and a lot of people thought they were going to lose their last game and not make a bowl game, but they showed up when they needed to and were able to beat South Florida 31-6 to to end the year and make a bowl game right here, the New Era Pinstripe Bowl. These guys are moving to the Big Ten next year, adding major market appeal from the NYC area to the Big Ten next year. But for now, they got to finish this season out strong. Their second-year head coach, he uh, switched Gary Nova out and put Chaz Dodd in. And this guy, he actually played pretty good so far. He's got 63 for 105 with 712 yards and two TDs in two games. That's not bad. I mean, they didn't do good against UConn, but he showed up in their last game against South Florida, and they beat them 31-6. to So he's going to give them a decent shot this going into it. Um, they're 53rd in the nation passing the ball, 242 yards a game, only 98th rushing in the 133 game. Their offense... Is legitly kind of stagnant. They struggle. Uh, they only score 27 points a game, which is 72nd in the nation, and they gave up 29 points a game, 82nd. They just they had some major struggles, although most games were decently competitive. Um, they really just had trouble with good teams, which is going to make this game really difficult for them because they're matching up with a solid team in Notre Dame. You had the Irish. Last year, they had that miraculous run to the title game. It didn't end well. Bama destroyed them, but it was still an unbelievable 12-0 run from that team, one of the legends of Notre Dame history. But this year, kind of underwhelmed. Um, they, their defense wasn't as good. Their offense kind of had some struggles. Everett Golson in the offseason got dismissed for academic reasons. I don't know if he cheated on a test or what. He's coming back, I believe, next year. But he's still not with the team now, and Tommy Reese is going to have to lead these guys. Well, last year, Reese was able to lead Notre Dame to some big wins late in games, like the Oklahoma game he played, I believe. I don't remember exactly. I know he played the Stanford game when they won that goal line stand. But Notre Dame this year, they went 8-4. and four. Not a bad year, just not what people were expecting going into it. I think everybody's expectations were a little skewed. They had some big wins. I mean, they almost had a loss to Purdue, but they beat them 31-24. That would have been a huge letdown because Purdue just had a horrible year this year. Um, in a uh, four-week span, four-game span, they were able to beat 22nd-ranked Arizona State, 37-34. They were able to beat USC in kind of their biggest game of the year, the battle for the Jewel Shillelagh, 14-10. They won at Air Force, which wasn't a huge win, but they were also able to stop that option running team at Navy and beat them 38-34. That was a big win for this program because Navy was tough this year. And they also are credited with the only win over Michigan State on the year. They beat them 17-13 to in a defensive battle early in the year. And for anybody who watched Michigan State make their run to the Big Ten title and off to the Rose Bowl now, they know that's a big win for this program this year. Um, they did suffer a letdown early on, 41-30 at Michigan, and they also lost 35-21 against Oklahoma, the Belldozer. And late in the year, they struggled in their two of their last three weeks, losing to Pitt and Stanford, both by one touchdown each. But, I mean, all those games were close. Two touchdowns was their biggest loss. They were in pretty much every game. 
And they also had a win 23-13 over a tough BYU team, although BYU just got beat a little bit ago in their bowl game. Called that one, right? But um, these guys, they were really led by Reese. A lot of people hated on him, but he still threw for 2,900 yards and 27 touchdowns on the year. That's pretty dang impressive. Their running game, however, left a little bit to be desired. They had uh, McDaniel and Atkinson the third, both running. Uh, they totaled over 1,100 yards. And, but they only totaled six touchdowns, which is kind of, I don't know, you expect more rushing touchdowns out of a Notre Dame team, I guess. Their offense was just a little different this year. But they pass the ball a lot. They averaged 249 yards a game, which is actually only 47th in the nation, and 149 yards a game, 82nd in the nation running. Um, they score about 27 points a game, and they give up about 22 to 23. So it's going to be interesting to see how many points they're able to put up against Rutgers because the thing with Rutgers is their passing defense struggles at time. Um, they score about the same amount of points as Notre Dame, but I don't know. They gave up 3,596 yards this year, the most in school history through the air. So that defense is very open to the pass. And Though Tommy Reese has struggled at times this year, I really do think he's going to have a good game here. I think he's going to play well. I think Rutgers offensively is going to struggle. Um, I think a lot of the weight for this team is going to have to go on their running backs. And Rutgers' is running backs, uh, James is pretty good. He had 833 yards and nine touchdowns, so he'll be able to give Notre Dame fits at times. But overall, I think Notre Dame's defense is going to carry him in this game. I think it's going to be close, hard fought. And I think that Notre Dame is going to be able to come out on top. The Irish aren't going to suffer a letdown like they did in last year's bowl game. And they, they're they going to an ACC affiliated schedule next year. Rutgers is going to the Big Ten, so it's a time for transition for both of them. And I think Notre Dame's going to go in with momentum, and I think they're going to win this game 23-13. to uh, Just kind of a typical Notre Dame-like score. Um, I'm not sure about this game as much as I am with other games because Rutgers is so sporadic and so is Notre Dame, but that just seems like a pretty good prediction to me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Feel free to call me out if I'm wrong, especially tomorrow after the game. I'll be at work, but I'll check it when I get home. Um, otherwise, enjoy. Since I'm from Indiana, I'll be biased and say go Irish for this one. And good luck to both teams because it's going to be interesting watching Rutgers play in the Big Ten next year. All right, later, guys.